Negotiations will resume Wednesday between the union representing thousands of San Diego grocery workers and Vons, Albertsons, Pavilions and Ralphs. If a deal isn't reached, vote, workers have voted to authorize a strike. An Albertsons worker told ABC 10 News reporter John Horn the fight is about being able to survive amid soaring costs in San Diego. <laughs> My feet are killing me too. Patty Figueroa stands outside the Albertsons in Lemon Grove, streaks of white frosting lining her black pants. She just finished an eight hour bakery shift, which began at 3.30 a.m. I get less than $20 an hour after 35 years still, and so it's really hard. Those wages not cutting it amid soaring inflation and gas prices, making her commute from Chula Vista that much more painful. Meanwhile, Albertsons reported a net income of $425 million in last year's third quarter. Workers like Patty want a bigger piece of that pie. I just want like everybody else. I want a peaceful life. I want to be able to afford food and afford my rent and my bills. And if I ever have an emergency, I need tires, I need to I want to be able to have tires and not have to charge them. In her decades long career at the grocer, Patty and her now ex husband raised two sons, both college educated and successful. When Patty's car got stolen three years ago, her son financed her SUV. She wishes he wouldn't have had to. Eventually, she'd like to retire, but fears at her current wages, it won't be in the cards. We're just trying to live, have a better life. That's what we're trying to do. We're not trying to get uh, $50 an hour. We're just trying to get decent money. That's why if a decision is made to strike, she'll be out front, sign in hand. John Horn, ABC 10 News. In a statement, Albertson says its goal is to provide employees with a competitive total compensation package of wages, health, welfare, and pension benefits. It says it is committed to working collaboratively to reach an agreement that's fair to employees and good for customers.